Oh, no way, man. Boris is way better. You know, it's like the guy from the cartoon. Boris and Natasha. <laughs> Bullwinkle, man. Rocky and Bullwinkle. You want some coffee? They're, this kid's gonna get him into trouble. Actually, what kind of pie you got? Hey, Zig. Shut the fuck up, huh? He has bad news written all over him. He, uh, people like that annoy the shit out of me. They think they're funny and everything, but everyone wants to whack the shit out of them. They try way too hard, and they're just, like, born assholes. If he doesn't die this season, Ziggy, if he doesn't die this season, I'd be shocked. You gotta mix it up a little more. Make it so customs doesn't put no names to faces. You trust him, man. You stay with him. Okay. All right. Boris it is. <laughs> so are they. Yeah, whatever. Come on, fuck nuts, let's go. Hey, how's the open face turkey? Hey, shit, let's go. See you guys later. What a douche. <laughs> Fucking embarrass me in there, man. It's funny how all the different like nationalities and races and stuff make fun of each other in this show. It's like they're making fun because they're Greeks. He's making fun because he's Russian. He, the Greek guy's making fun because they're Polish. Everyone's just cracking on each other. But it's a world of crime. We all got to get along, right? Is this a new cop? Hey, Frank. Hey, hey I recognize her too. Finished my paperwork early. What exactly are your people going to be stealing today? I don't know. A couple luxury sedans, some color TVs, widescreen, maybe a couple cans of vodka, maybe a whole container ship. Okie dokie. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> Why do I know her? And I already like her. She just has a pleasant personality. See, he does too. You work in the light, ain't you? I'm on it, yeah. Right. Did they say anything else? No, just that it's the same money to us. So that's how he's getting the money. Yeah. Now Volchek's gonna probably do right, some right. searching around and find out that's how he paid for the stained glass window. Where have you been? Look at that look. That was sexual harassment from ten feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is, sailor boy. You owe me ten. Fuck you. <laughs> Give him his ten. It's Lance, man. Give him twenty. I told him where you didn't want to go. Exactly. Yeah, and they sent me there. I knew Rawls was pissed. I didn't know how pissed. What can I tell you? He he has a, a, a special place in my heart. What's up with our girls? She come off the bridge or what? Doc Fraser posted her today. He came up with blunt force trauma to the head and chest. He's saying she's dead before she hits the water. More Threw about her off. Wounds. Bruising on three fingers? You saw that as soon as we picked her up. You missed the defense wounds? I wasn't looking. Thought she went off the bridge, so. Also, that's your job. No coat or shoes on. Now, maybe that stuff comes Horrible cop water, work already. Not. And I don't see her making her way out to the key bridge in winter dressed like she was. But then that's just me. Tell Bunk I was here, will you? I took one look at her and I said, thrown off the bridge. This cop sucks. Oh. It seems Roberto Castellano y Silva has been targeted by the DEA. And sometimes you wonder how it is you got caught in the first place and you decide to change the pattern. He took our money? Your advance payment arrived as our problem did. And I'm told the money is on the way back to Baltimore. Oh, okay. You know, I get the feeling that you're blaming us for Roberto's... Yeah, that's what I got out of it. Perhaps your problems in Baltimore and my client's problems here are coincidental. But right now... Listen to me. He was the first to know that we took a hit. He knows no one came close to rolling over us and all the documents from the case. Nonetheless, we have a legitimate concern. Considering the scope of Mr. Barksdale's operation, his sentence was, to say the least, mild. But if the possibility exists, however unlikely, that the leniency he received was the result of cooperation, ah. well, you understand our position. 
They're thinking that Avon rolled over on Roberto, and that's why he only got seven years. So they're holding back the drugs in case they're connected. It makes sense. The guy's being smart. And this Russian fuck won't take it off the pier. I am blind. I don't like it sitting out in the open that long. The custom seal is broke. Somebody's going to see it. Our asses are hanging out here. Yeah. Something ain't right. Okay. I understand. He's standing right there. What is the bit? What is the problem? Is he trying to fuck shit up? Is he just leaving? What is going on? Are they intent? Did Volchik pay off? Volchik paid off the Greek to set them up so they lose their stained glass window. That's my theory. Volchik was like, Greek, do this so I can nail him on a stolen container fraud thing. I don't know if that was good or bad. It looks like it's a good thing. Like, it's just in their jurisdiction. But he didn't make a face like, he... I wanted him to do that. There's Cheryl. The one holding Greg's back from pursuing her dreams. I get it. You love someone. But you can't force someone to be who they're not and not let them do what they love. Just because you're like, I want him to be safe. Life is short. You got to enjoy it and do what you want. You can't cater to other people. County boys are putting her on our side of the bridge. Uh huh. Fucking way. Love it. McNulty. Some useless fuck in our marine unit faxed him a report on the early morning tides and wind currents. Love it. The body went in the water west of the bridge and drifted out. McNulty. Fucking Jimmy. Fucking with us for the fun of it. I gotta give the son of a bitch some credit for wit on this one. You do. You do. Come on. You gotta. Cocksucker. Motherfucker. See, it was worth it just for that little rapport. But then we low. Look, nigga, if we low, it's because String wants us that way. All right? When he wants us up, we'll be up. String is on top of the shit. He's on top of everything. The guy in the back looks like the hot-tempered guy that's going to end up dead. Guys like that that have no cool in that business end up dead quick. You can't, I mean, if you're at the high end of things, you could be hot tempered, but you can't when you're like a, like a low level guy. The Prince of Tides. <laughs> the Prince of Tides. Jane Doe. That's who she was. She is the Rach she's Rachel in House on ha the ha Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. That body of that girl was one of the siblings. I think it was Rachel was her name. She was the one that owned the funeral home. That's where I saw her. That was the dead body. At least it looked just like the actress's face, but this is like 15 years ago. That's amazing though. Is she going to be a big role in this or is that like her first role? She was a dead body. Uh-oh. I would never walk into a container that no one knew I was in when they could lock you in it. That is scary shit. What? I did not expect that. I was expecting her to get locked in and not find a room full of bodies. Is that why the Greek didn't want it? Hey, Frank, Frank, something's going on. Cops are everywhere. I hear them. How many bodies? Was it a whole container of bodies or just a couple? Uh, they're all women, too. What was it like? Fucking prostitution like stuff coming over? Ah, uh, there's got to be friggin' like. There's at least a dozen. Close to a dozen. Zones, like a dozen of them. <laughs> That's what I just said. I literally just said there's about a dozen of them. What is going on? There is a lot going on, guys, and I don't know where this is going. 
So that was episode one of season two. People told me it started off really slow and it might have for the first 20 minutes, but I'm happy people told me that because it lowered my expectations. It did start a little slow, but the slow parts focused on characters I already knew. And I, even though I watched it a week ago, I already missed them and was like, ooh, I feel like there's a bit of a time jump, maybe a couple months, not even, I don't even know. It was just like, I didn't mind sitting back and like finding out about McNulty like seeing he's taking cash from the people on the boat. So he's already corrupt on that friggin' front. Like we didn't expect that he's drinking again, everything else, but I didn't mind it. If that was what I have to expect from season two and they only get better, then I'm pretty good with that. We didn't see Lester. We saw Daniels got demoted, so to speak the new Lester job. If you want to say that, like how Lester got thrown with the shit. That's basically Daniels. Now he's now in the evidence room because something happened with the evidence on bird and blah, 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 blah with Gantz murder Rolls and landsman kind of the same. They're picking on McNulty. McNulty's firing back new guys. We got the two guys that stringer sent to follow Bodie, which I actually thought something bad happened, but it was all a setup. But those two guys are new. I'm wondering if they're going to be like a big thing. Bodie had his main guy. And then the other guys that were like at the stash house, there's a lot of new faces popping up, which I guess there'd have to be because a lot of people went down in the last season. We saw Avon on prison. Not really a lot going on there yet. Then we saw the new cop that found the trailer of dead girls. She is from, I believe, I want to say it's the mother from A Beautiful Boy. I just saw the movie A Beautiful Boy like a week ago. Steve Carell, who like their son is a drug addict and all that good stuff. And it's nominated for tons of Academy Awards that are coming up tomorrow. So that's interesting that I happened to watch this episode the day before and she's nominated. I, I don't know if she's nominated, but the movie is. If I'm, if I'm right, and that is the right actress. But she's a new character. It looks like I'm going to like her. We got Izzy, who I guarantee is going to die at the end of the season. You don't bring a guy like that into a season and keep him around for a while. He is there, so at the end of the season, I could be like, he's dead and praise the death of him. Unless he changes and then I feel horrible. Felt the same way about Pris Bluski in season two, and now I would have felt horrible at the end if he died. Maybe he'll spin around, but right now, Izzy, I do not like at all. I hate people like that. I hate people that try too hard and think they're funny. You're not funny. No one wants to see you pull your dick out at the bar and like talk shit to people when you are like the skinny little asshole. No one wants to. And clearly he's got like special privileges because of who his father is. It's just total bullshit. I hate people like that. Then we got his cousin who is, I remembered from a show called Lights Out. It was a boxing show on FX years ago, maybe 10 or 15. It was probably after this show, but like probably right after the show ended or maybe in between. I don't know. It never got renewed for a second season. FX show gone. So dig his character. Izzy's father. I kept saying, is he the security guard in the Oz? No, he is a cop, but in True Blood, I watched both shows. He was one of those characters that was a total douchebag in True Blood, but turned around. And at the end, I actually really liked his character. He like saved himself in the end. And maybe that's what Izzy will do. Maybe it'll be a funny little spin on things because it's his son and he did the same thing to me in True Blood. So that'd be fun to see. We got a trailer full of dead girls. Did the Greek know about that? The Greek's another guy I recognize. He's probably from a hundred movies where he plays that type of guy. He plays like mafia hitmen. He plays wise guys. He plays like thugs. He is that guy. But I can't think of one thing he's in right off the bat right now. Did he know what was going down. And that's why he got Sergey the hell out of there with his truck is Vel Volchek trying to frame them because he's mad that they got the front stained glass window, which is another whole story to unravel with how corrupt that church is. That guy is like playing everybody like, Oh, you got more money. You got more. Money. And he's acting like a saint, like, Oh, my son, like you, it, it just gave us $4,000. That's all. Ha, ha. Yeah. My ass, you are corrupt, sir. I don't care. Like, if you know that people are paying you off to do certain things, I don't care any way you slice it. You are a religious man. You're not supposed to be taking handouts from every which way. You got handouts for probably the drug dealers, definitely from the dock workers and the cops. And now they're all fighting. And now you got, like, people probably dying over it because now Volchek is going to frame them. There's going to probably be all-out chaos because of the church. The church is the cause of all this. If I'm right, I could be totally wrong. The church is the catalyst that is going to make chaos ensue, at least on that front. 
as far as Stringer at the end there, we saw that Bodie didn't mess up. Stringer has those two guys follow him. And Stringer goes and meets with Roberto and basically says, dude, what's up? And they're like, no, we're not trying to screw you. We're sending your money back. We don't want to do business with you anymore because we think Avon rolled over. That's why he's only doing seven years. That isn't the case as far as we know so far. Maybe, well, you guys might know more than me. But as far as I know, Avon got a got a seven years because D'Angelo took the major rap, said no one was involved. He got 20 years. But Roberto doesn't know that. I don't blame him. Why do you want to do business with these guys that just had like 20 of their dudes thrown to prison and the ringleader went for seven years, his nephew went for 20 years, and now you got Stringer running the whole operation? I get it. Things are probably running smoothly, but why take the chance? You don't want to work with people that are like that. It's just unnecessary drama. The the end of the episode ramped up real quick, so I'm hoping the pace continues from here. I'd like to see Lester. Didn't see Lester at all. I dig the format. I dig that the dock workers are a huge part of that. I worked with those kind of guys pretty much my whole life. Since I graduated high school, I've been doing contracting, construction. I'm a laborer for the most part. So now I work for myself and I am much happier for it, but I still deal with people like that. I still on a daily basis interact with tons of people like those guys. Love it. Beer drinking, hardworking, wisecracking guys. I want, I'm want. i curious to see where it goes because half of them, well, not half of them, one of them, a.k.a. Izzy, is a douchebag and the others seem to be doing crooked shit. So very curious to see where this goes. Let me know what you guys think. Comments down below. Like and subscribe and I will see you in episode two. Peace.